Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Who Are They? We sit with Phoenix Rockwell Davidson, learn a little bit about Phoenix and what Phoenix likes to do for fun. Now before I start the video, just want to let you know I did edit the video down because we sat for over an hour on the Who Are They segment. Phoenix has a uh, Facebook Live that goes on about, I think about every day on her Facebook page called Sound Real Estate News. So I'll have Phoenix's contact information in the description below or in the comment section. I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, you look fine. How's it going, Phoenix? It's going good. See, this is how we're just gonna start out like this. Okay. I'll even leave the music in. I know. We can turn that down if you no, want. No, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. So. Where are you from? Where do you live? Oh, are we, are we Yeah, we're right now. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> where do I live or where am I from? Where are you both? Where are you from and where do you live? Okay. So I was born in Colorado. Okay. Denver, Colorado. Denver Children's Hospital. Okay. And uh, grew up between there and Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to mention where I grew up in Texas okay. because it's so remote and embarrassing. <laughs> Out of the middle of nowhere. Out of the middle of nowhere. Okay. Freaking where? The, we'll just say the Panhandle. Okay. The so Panhandle. East, uh, East Texas, Northeast, Northwest. North Northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I love the people from there. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, it smelled where I live. It smelled like cow manure. Okay. But once you, you know, you're there a couple hours, you don't smell it. Yeah, you it. get used to it. But yeah, that was where I grew up. Um, and then I went to school in Arizona mm -hmm. and in Phoenix, ASU. And then I went to LA, lived in LA for a long time, lived in uh, Santa Monica. Okay. And uh, then I came out here, I'm going on four years, so April, starts the beginning of my four, fourth year here. Okay. Yeah. So here I am. I live in Kirkland. Okay. And how you like, you like, you love Washington or like it right now? You know, I love Washington mm -hmm. because I love trees mm -hmm. and I love water mm -hmm. and those islands. Right. Those islands, like the beauty here, I'm a person like I love beauty, like mm -hmm. things like us, like aesthetically pleasing things. And I remember the first time I went on a ferry to Orcas Island, I was like, whoa, this is superior. Like Santa Monica was gorgeous, the palm trees, but like. Yeah, you go out to the on. San Juans, Orcas Island, Friday Harbor. Come on. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going like you're you're driving down the road and you see. Um, it's not Mount Baker, is it Mount? What? Well, you got Mount Baker up north. No, you got Mount not. Rainier. You got it's the Mount Olympic. Rainier. You got the Olympic. It's freaking Mount Rainier. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Right. It like is the definition of awe. Yeah. Some right. You're just like, oh, <laughs> like what? This is my this is my you know cra crappy traffic drive. I get to stare at that beautiful thing. Like, thank you, this thank you, God. Giant volcano. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful That's though. That's another way of thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? You just swallowed my brain. You know, like, you broke my little dream. You just burst my little bubble, didn't you? But it is beautiful. I knew you had that shame. You it's beautiful. So what, <laughs> so, what do you like to do for fun? I like to <laughs> look at volcanoes. Make nightmares out of people's <laughs> glorious moments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nightmares of fear and doom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what do I like to do for fun? Um, okay. I pretty much love life. So, <laughs> I kind of, I'm like one of those people, like, I don't understand people are like, I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. I am don't think I'm superior. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that. But, like, I can't really think of a time that I'm, like, not having fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even when I'm working, which is a lot right now, that's a conscious choice. Like, this is a season for my life of, like, hey, like... I'm getting after it, right? Building up my retirement. Like, 
got my parents to think about and stuff. So, but I enjoy it, right? And so then when I'm off of work, I just signed up for a bachata class. Do you know what bachata no, is? No, what is that? <laughs> You're not a dancer? No, I mean, we do this like, well, like two-step dance, you know, like, oh, okay, yeah. But I went two-stepping the other night. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I, I mean, not like, what's bachata? <laughs> is bachata? it like, is it? Oh, well, I'm gonna learn, so I'm taking a class, so I'm not like an expert on it. Like salsa-ish, or it's is kinda, it? It's kinda, yeah. It's, okay. like a, it's like a little bit more like, it's a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a little bit more sexy salsa. Okay. You know, salsa's pretty sexy in a way, but it's more like, da -da, you know, it's more like, it's more like um, mechanical, but Chata gives you a little more freedom to like, people do some really sexy moves. It's like dirty dancing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I mean, it is interesting. So, I mean, it's like one of those things, like the first time I did it, I've only done it like three times. But I, I was like kind of embarrassed. I'm like, I just met you. Mm -hmm. You know, because you go to the dance studio and like, it's so fun. So I go to this place Friday nights, sometimes, just started actually on my birthday in December. But I wanted to go because I like to dance. And I'm like, it's a fun way to burn calories. You're not drinking, right? I like dancers in general because dancers are fun, happy people that have energy that flows, mm -hmm. right? And so, I was in Fremont, I was walking by this place and there was like a line, it was like this, they had windows and there was a line um, to get in. And I'm like, what are they doing in here? And they had four different dance rooms, um, people of all ages, all colors, all shapes and sizes, and people just dance with each other and mm -hmm. you just swap out you know, partners and stuff. And so they had salsa, bachata, zuka, some other thing that I can't even pronounce. And I was like, oh, this is my vibe. You know, I just like people who like want to have a good time, you know, no putting on airs, right. um, all levels of like dance ability there. Right. And so, you know, it's like at that, the first time I went, it was like 10 bucks to get in. It's like 20 bucks now. But um, so it's like a cheap little fun night out and maybe you meet somebody. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's a fun place. It's called Salsa Con Todo. Okay. In the day, it's a coffee shop. It's called Cafe, Cafe Contolo. Okay. And then on Friday nights, they shut down the coffee shop, turn that into a dance floor, and there's a dance studio next door, and then they have like, you know, areas in the back. So dancing is fun. Mm -hmm. um, but really, like hiking, painting. I love going to the art museums. I love, I go to a dog park and watch dogs. I don't have a dog. But I love to watch those happy creatures. Mm having the time of their life. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I can enjoy that, really just anything. Yeah. 